Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Tool Thursday review, or Thursday's Tool Review, I guess I could call it. Um, this is just going to be a short little video, um, just due to the fact that it's just one tool. But I use it constantly, um, and uh, yeah, it works out pretty, pretty well. I actually really, really like this little tool, um, and I'm glad I bought it. So, anyway, let's get to the tool. So what we got here is this is my butane Dremel soldering iron. So it does more. It's got uh, removable tips and stuff. So it's a Dremel 2000. I actually bought this as a set. It came with the with a Dremel, uh, a Dremel. A an etcher, I guess. I can't remember if it's called an etcher. Um, engraver, I guess you can call it. I don't really have, I don't think I have the engraver available, but it came with this, so you can engrave letters and numbers. Um, but yeah, it's, it's stored up in there. Um, but anyway, so... This is my old soldering iron. This is what I've used. I think it's a Weller. Um, I don't really want to unwind it to find out. But, uh, yeah, I used, used this one forever. I think I got this one when I was in high school. Uh, because I was doing RC cars. RC cars, soldering motors, serv servo stuff, whatever. Um, this one works really, really good. Um, I didn't come across the stuff that makes it work awesome until I bought this. So, I bought this, the Dremel one, about six, seven years ago I bought this. And, uh, yeah, what I, what I find, if you do buy one, is, uh, get some tinning. If you can get some tinning stuff, let me set you guys over here so I can do this real quick. Highly recommend everybody to have a soldering iron, soldering gun. I don't really like soldering guns because they're big, they're bulky. Um, but anyway, this stuff smells like rat pee. I don't know why, but I used to breed rats, and that's what it smells like to me. So... To, to end up using this, you just flip this little lever forward, and you pull it down, and then you lock it. And then it stays on. You can see that's glowing. So, and this one takes a quarter, or maybe even less of the time to get hot compared to these ones. These old stick soldering irons. So, um, you can see it's already getting hot. The thing I like about this the most is you have this hole right here. You can see without burning me. You have that hole that's glowing red. And I use that for heat shrink. So let's just say so anyway, this stuff lets you tin it. So as you can see, take this, you stick it in there. And your tip has been tinned. So, it stinks. Like I said, it smells like rat pee, but whatever. But anyway, so it gets tinned. And then I just use for wiring. You know, when I'm wiring whatever into cars, trucks. So, let's just say... I don't know. Let's just say I'm going to tin this red wire right here, which you probably can't see. Let me zoom you guys in. A lot of people like to use butt connectors and whatever else. I don't. I solder everything. Um, but anyway. Where did it go? <clears throat> so we just have this red wire. That's right there. You can't see. So, I don't know. You take this. You tin it. You take some solder. Touch it on there. And 
voila. So now, now this you can either the wire you can either solder it to whatever because now you got solder on it um, or you do whatever you want. So and then uh, like I said I like this feature because it has the hole in it. It has that hole so you can take heat shrink and then just run it over the wire like so. If you could see this, so you'd run it over the wire and it would shrink that heat shrink. So simple little tool. That's that's for uh the control down, it's really low, high, I always have it on high, because everyone likes to be high. Um and then this can I bought this can when I bought this and it still has a bunch in there and a lot of people think a lot of people don't know how to fill them but anyway you take the can I shake it and then you hold it you hold it down you know torch down because you have all these little holes in here little valleys that the butane is gonna spew out so you take this like this and you just push it down until it starts to spit out. So, as you can see, that's full. So when it starts to spit out, that means it's full, and you can go ahead and fire back up so it'll go off. So you have to pull that lock, and then to do the lock, it'll shut off. So, Anyway, I just want to do a quick little video of this. Um, this was when Radio Shack was open. The tinning and some rosin core solder. So it's basically like flux cord. So you don't have to use the flux. Um, flux stuff's pretty nasty. This is what I was using. So water soluble paste flux. That's what I was using a long, long, long time ago. Um, and then I found this little packet. It came with this and this um, spool of wire or whatever you want to call it, solder. And uh, oh, it also came with this. This is pretty cool. So like if you're doing circuit board stuff, um, this is desoldering uh, braid. So it's basically just braided copper wire. So I don't know if you can see it. It's braided copper wire. And uh, you basically just put this on. On whatever you're trying to desolder. And the solder will wick. The solder will wick into this braided wire. Pretty cool stuff. I did that when I was doing. Uh, uh, what did I install? I installed a. Uh, a chip on my Honda Civic on the ECU and then when I was doing uh, I had to change a bunch of capacitors on my amp from my Acura because I was getting a lot of feedback like uh, static noise so I had to, I changed I think it was 21 capacitors and I was using this and it literally took me uh, 20-30 minutes to change all those capacitors um, but yeah, these ones will work. It'll get you by in a pinch. Um, if you can't find this one, a lot of times this was, I bought this set when it was a holiday. So during the holiday season, it was like Christmas time. Um, I ended up buying this complete set. It came in a metal, a metal box. And, uh, yeah, use this thing forever. For a long time. So used to use this forever. So I've had this for probably a good 25 years. And it works. It works. It's just I was always sharpening. That's why this uh, tip is all so weirdly shaped. Um, because I was always sharpening it. Taking sandpaper and sharpening it. Cleaning it. Cleaning it. Cleaning it. To try to get good. Uh penetration and good heat coming out of this that's the other thing it did never never has a constant heat 
or a consistent heat, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's gonna be my tool, my tool video, tool review. Um, definitely buy one of these. This is a plus. Um, you just need butane. Okay. Sorry, guys. Battery died. But anyway. So this is a definite must if you're going to get into automotive. Um, I'd highly recommend this. It's very small, very portable, gets into a lot of spot, a lot of tight little spots, and uh, it's just versatile. I mean, uh, definitely recommend it. A Dremel 2000 um, butane came with a cap and everything, but I don't have all that stuff. So they do make a. a a soldering iron or whatever you want to call it for the M Milwaukee M12 but uh, I don't need it I really like that Dremel one so maybe you guys can pick it up separate from the little kit that I bought um, maybe you can't I don't know maybe you have to buy the whole kit but I think it was like 49 bucks for a Dremel uh, engraver and the soldering iron so, alright guys, that's going to be my Thursday's tool review. That's it. Stay tuned for next week's tool review. I think I'm going to be reviewing this. It's a Harbor Freight Centec portable power pack. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. That one's going to be next week. Alright guys, later.